All right, today we're going to make some microwave bowl cozies. Um, there's a few things you're ne going to need. You're going to need some 100% cotton batting. You want it to not have any fillers, no polyester, or else it could melt or catch fire. You're also going to need 100% cotton thread. Um, this can be a little trickier to find, but there is a link um, that I'll share that you can get some. You'll also need 100% cotton um, fabric for your outside design. So everything should be 100% cotton. Um, once you have all your materials and you've cut out your pattern, you're going to place your main fabric on top of your batting piece and you're going to sew a crisscross X um, between the, or so that the two layers um, are stitched together. And this is just going to ensure that the layers stay together um, in washing, in microwaving, um, while they're on the bowl, all of those things. So I'll do one side of my X, then I'll do the other side of my X, and I'll do the same thing on both the front and the back of my bowl cozy. So there's a layer of my main fabric on top of a layer of batting. And then I do that for both the front and the back with the X on it. Now I'm going to match both sides of each of the V's that are in the pattern line them up and I'm going to sew a dart which is about a quarter of an inch from one side of the V to the opposite of the side of the V. So you can kind of see here's my V and I fold it in half matching both sides and then I stitch across and this is what we'd call a dart um, and I'm uh, making sure to back stitch at the beginning of the end but this is what's going to kind of add that 3D dimension to the bowl cozy and that's how the bowl is going to sit inside the cozy. So this is kind of the most essential part. Now each of these V's um, are designed to fit a regular size soup bowl. Um, if you have a larger bowl or a smaller bowl, you may need to do a little bit of experimenting on the sizing. But uh, this should fit your standard size um, uh, kitchen bowl. I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to trim the excess of my darts off. That's just going to take a lot of the bulk out. It's going to be make it easier to sew the layers together and to turn it and so everything lays nice and flat. Now I'm going to take my two layers that have been sewn and darts put in and I'm going to put them right sides together. I'm going to match where each of the darts is sewn and I'm just going to put a pin in that. And that's just going to help the two layers to kind of stay in place. And so if those darts line up, then your bowl cozy is nice and, and uh, straight. All right, now we're going to sew around our cozy. We're going to leave an opening at the edge so that we can turn it right side out. So I'm kind of starting in the middle of one of the sides just before my darts kind of give me a running start. When I get to a corner, I'm going to put my needle down. I'm going to lift my presser foot and turn and then put my presser foot back down. And that's just going to help it so that my bowl cozy corners are each nice and sharp. Um, so if you want really crisp um, edges and corners, the putting your needle down and turning your material is the best way to do that. Now if you're using the bowl cozy pattern that is kind of a curved edge and kind of has a little more floral design to it, then you would just follow along that curve. There would be no need to put your needle down and turn. But for this particular pattern when each of the edges are nice and sharp, um, this is the best method to do that. So once we get to the other edge, we're going to again put our needle down and turn our corner. And then we're going to just stitch a s several more stitches and back stitch. And that just makes it so that corner still will become sharp, but we'll still have that opening that we need. Next, we're going to take our scissors and we're going to trim our corners that we just sewed. And that'll help again to take out some of the bulk. You can also snip into um, your darts so that they'll release a little bit. You can also cut around the edge to take out some of the bulk. Whatever you need to do to make it work. And then you'll turn your bowl cozy right side out. Um, I like to use a wooden dowel or uh, the end of a paintbrush. Um, 
maybe an unsharpened pencil. There's several things you can do, but you'll use those to push out all of those corners on the bowl cozy um, and get them as crisp as you can get. Now, again, you're going to have a lot of bulk because you're sewing through four layers and two of those layers are batting, um, but you want to get them as crisp as you can. Once you get to that point, you can turn those two layers together to make the inside of that bowl cozy. And then you'll carefully um, turn those that raw edge that's still open so that everything matches up very, very nicely. Again, this can be a little bit of a trick. You can use an iron or if you need to use a, a mallet, you can do that as well. And then you'll stitch around the outside edges of your bowl cozy. And then make sure you take your iron and really press that bowl cozy well. And you'll have the perfect little cozy for your next microwave soup.